with a rendition of their national anthem. And a salute to the Chinese flag. These nine-year-olds at the Huangcheng Gun Primary School in Beijing begin their day. It's a simple patriotic act repeated in schools across China every week. But for Chinese children, pledging allegiance doesn't stop there. There's an ideological agenda which now appears to dominate what they are taught. The Ministry of Education has begun a nationwide campaign to overhaul patriotic education in China's schools so that it includes not only the textbooks used and the lessons learned, but what children do in their extracurricular activities and what they look at online. Xi Jinping betraying his history, betraying his father's ideal. It's a kind of a new type of dictatorship. Professor Chao Mu lost his job as a lecturer after speaking out against the president's policy. Uh, the leaders, they have uh, two faces, uh, two personalities. Uh, they, they say something like the socialism core value, like the democracy, uh, rule of law, freedom. They say that, but actually they didn't do that. A patriotic syllabus was introduced in the wake of Tiananmen Square, but almost three decades on, President Xi is taking it to a level beyond his predecessors. What began as a means of inspiring devotion to the country has developed into a demand for absolute party loyalty. In all subjects, at every stage of schooling, students will now encounter a far stricter Communist Party focus. At the Communication University in Beijing, some of the students are worried. Jia Jietian fears they are losing their freedom of speech, while others seem resigned to the regime. It's like part of our courses, so we have to do it. But like it's depend, it's depends on us whether we want to accept it or not. It's getting harder and harder to inoculate China's children against Western values. But the more difficult it gets, the more determined it seems President Xi becomes. Debbie Edward, News at 10, Beijing.